Hi, I'm Andy Fell, the founder of GIFT631, and welcome to today's GIFT Bite. Now, when you're coaching someone, there are three very small but very important words. The first two are words to avoid. The last word is a really, really great word to help you improve someone's performance in a particular area. The first word is but. Whenever you say, that was really good, but, all I'm gonna remember is everything that comes after the but, and all of your great work is lost. The second word is don't. Now this was brought home to me when I heard Will Carling, who was once the captain of the England Rugby Union team speak. And Will was telling a story about when England were playing Wales and the coach of the England team was going around the dressing room giving every player their last minute instructions. Will was the last player he got to and he couldn't think of anything to say. So all he said to him, and he tried to make a joke, was Will, whatever you do, just don't drop the ball. Will Carling then tells this story that he's out in the field and all that's going through his mind is don't drop the ball, don't drop the ball, don't drop the ball. The other center shapes to throw him the ball, it's going through his mind and guess what he does? And then he turns to the audience, he says, how many times in my career have I caught a rugby ball? And the very first time someone puts into my mind, don't drop the ball, I spill it and we lose the game. So please avoid the word but and avoid the word don't. But please use the word if. When someone says something to you, for example, well, I'm just not creative. How about you say back to them, if you were creative, what would you do? I'm just no good at creating rapport with clients. If you were amazing at creating rapport with clients, what would you say? I'm just no good at closing the sale. If you were fantastic at closing the sale, what would you do, what would you say? So three small, very important words, but, don't, and if.